Well, hey there, guys. We have a very special Flashback Friday for you. It's all about Buddy Holly and the crickets. Oh, are you going to sing for us? That'll be the day. guys thanks for joining us this is rock hard wrist the guitar channel for the self-taught and again yes it is flashback friday wahoo and to, in today's very special flashback friday we are featuring the one and only the late great buddy holly that's why i'm holding this fender stratocaster here i don't know about you guys but uh you know hendrix jimmy hendrix of course made this the most famous guitar uh, at his time, but I remember the earliest guy I saw with this was Buddy Holly. Born Charles Harden Holly with an E, so you spelled it H-O-L-L-E-Y. Later he was known as Buddy Holly, H-O-L-L-Y. Born in Lubbock, Texas in 1936 during the Dust Bowl and the Depression. Young Buddy was influenced by gospel music, country music, and rhythm and blues, or as they would have called it in those days, race music. Well, in Buddy's early career, again, he was playing places like roller rinks and stuff like that. If you have not seen the movie The Buddy Holly Story with Gary Busey, that's a must. I'm sure if you're a Buddy Holly uh, fan, you've seen it. But if you're younger and you're not familiar with The Buddy Holly Story, I highly suggest checking out The Buddy Holly Story with Gary Busey. This uh, movie was uh, made in about the mid-70s. And as you see here, young Gary Busey in the mid-70s in that movie. Fantastic movie. Now in the early days, Buddy and his friend Bob Montgomery had formed a little band called Buddy and Bob, where on three different occasions they happened to open up for the one and only Elvis Presley. They opened up three different times for and Buddy decided to go full-on rock and roll after they were working with Elvis Presley. The first song that Buddy released was That'll Be The Day. And that was taken from a phrase from the movie The Searchers with John Wayne. A great western movie if you haven't seen it. Directed by John Ford. It had such an impression on Buddy Holly, he named his song That'll Be The Day. Famously starring John Wayne, Jeffrey Hunter, and Ward Bond, and many others. What a great western movie. This is the movie that Buddy Holly wrote the song for, That'll Be The Day. This song was released on Brunswick Records in 1957 under the name The Crickets. Now we know that Buddy Holly had a huge influence over people not just in America but all over the world and in the UK especially. The Hollies named themselves at Christmas time after Buddy Holly and Holly during Christmas. They thought, hey, the two are great, they love Buddy Holly, we'll call ourselves the Hollies. The Beatles also got their name from the Crickets to the Beatles, except John Lennon in his way, of course, changed the spelling to B-E-A-T, and the rest was history. What a huge influence Buddy Holly had. A little anecdote too there, the Beatles did a fantastic cover of the song uh, Words of Love by Buddy Holly. That'll Be The Day was the very first demo recording by the Quarrymen, who would later become the Beatles. Now, it was that fated day in 1959, February 3rd, the day that the music died, where Buddy Holly, the Big Bopper, and Richie Valens all had died in a plane crash, leaving Clear Lakes, Iowa, for the Dakotas. There was a snowstorm, they became snowblind, and crashed. And uh, you may also be familiar with the story about Waylon Jennings, who was in Buddy's band at the time, it was kind of like a flip of the coin type of thing where who gets to go in what way. Nobody wanted to drive through the snowstorm. They wanted to just get out of there. It was Waylon Jennings that was originally going to take that flight. Instead, Buddy did. And again, the rest is history. So guys, we have three different songs for you down in the description. The first one is That'll Be The Day. This was released in 1957. It was written by Buddy Holly and Jerry Allison. This song sold over a million copies in the United States and reached number five in the UK. Next on our list is Words of Love. This was written by Buddy Holly, again, and it was released in 1957. What a great song. Absolutely love this song. The Beatles version is absolutely awesome. 
check it out if you're into it. Maybe I'll even put it in the description. Third on our list is Peggy Sue, the famous Peggy Sue. You see the video where Buddy's playing the Strat, going to town on it. This was written by Buddy Holly, Jerry Allison, and Norman Petty. It was released in September of 1957, and nowhere on this release were the crickets mentioned, just Buddy Holly. Once again, guys, look for links to these songs and more in the description. And we thank you once again for joining us here on Flashback Friday. If you want your song heard and your channel shouted out here on our Flashback Fridays, please leave us a comment on our Instagram or Twitter pages and we'll see what we can do for you. Alright guys, thanks for joining us here on Flashback Friday. Rock on, we'll see you next video.